You therefore have no excuse, you who pass judgment on someone else, for whatever point you judge the other, you are condemning yourself, because you who pass judgment do the same thing. Factual. And bullying is judgment. And the Bible says, Jesus hates bullies. Jesus hates bullies! Well, bullying just, uh, it isn't the end thing these days. We need to unite to put an end to this devil's work. Look back to the crucifixion. Jesus was arrested, tried, and sentenced by one person, by one big bully, Pontius Pilate. You know, some Christians, some Christians, they believe that the crucifixion was a self-sacrifice. No. Jesus was bullied onto that cross. Every individual nail by one guy because no one, no one stood up to them. And that's why we, we as a people, we need to take a stand. Jesus hates bullies. Jesus hates bullies. Jesus hates bullies. Jesus didn't rise from the grave just so that way he could steal other kids' cookie money. I get bullied because God didn't give me a perfect little button nose like my mama. But the good news is, is that plastic surgery is God's gift to the world. Jesus hates bullies. Jesus hates bullies. When I used to get wedged on the flagpole, I felt pretty humiliated. Then I realized that's how Jesus must have felt, hanging there in pain with his underwear for everyone to see. So I made some cool friends and uh, we got together to stop those big bullies from ruining our days and our underpants. Jesus hates bullies. Jesus hates bullies. Jesus! Hey, boys! Jesus actually loves the games, but he hates bullies. You can stop bullying. You can stop bullying. You can stop bullying. Now!